Well, hello. So if you, you know, watch any other computer programming guys on YouTube, uh, you've probably seen a couple of videos for this year's Capture the Flag by Google, and I didn't even know this was going on until I saw some videos, and uh, I love this sort of thing. I was like, oh, I don't have time to do that, but then I started watching some of these videos, um, and it really got me interested in it. And, uh, you know, the first few of these are very simple, but uh, it, it's interesting watching uh, people go through some of these processes. And so I thought I'd go through them because a lot of the videos, uh, they show how the things are done, but they don't uh, necessarily go through the mindset of some of the things. And I actually learned stuff. Uh, so you can see I've done a few of these so far, uh, but this one right here, the admin UI, I just finished it. And uh, uh, to be quite honest, it's like I, I watched a video. Uh, first of all, let me say, okay, so for couple months now I've been uh, I've been subscribed to this guy live overflow enjoy his videos uh, a lot and then he did a video referencing um, this guy John uh, Hammond who uh, I've only had a chance to watch a couple of his videos uh, it turns out he's a viewer of mine uh, and which is awesome and and he's doing these videos and I liked his idea of not just um, solving them but when he's done he puts everything in a script so you can run the script and it just automates everything. So I love that idea, so I thought I'd do the same thing. Uh, and and especially with the, like I said, this one with the, um, the admin UI, he showed how it was done and he admitted that, you know, he got help from other people. So I, before I went into it, I already had the answer uh, on how he, he accomplished it, but I backward, I pedaled back to figure out how I would have done that if I didn't already know the answer, obviously. So uh, when I get to that one in a couple of videos, I will definitely, uh, hopefully, teach you guys a bunch of new things because I learned a bunch of new things. Anyway, uh, this one, this video has kind of a long intro because the solution is super simple. So this is kind of an introduction and first video. Uh, also, if you want, uh, go to GitLab. GitLab. Uh, I just moved from GitHub. I ported all my projects over to GitLab. You know, since Microsoft bought GitHub, I figured sooner the better get away from there doesn't I mean I might still continuously back stuff up there doesn't hurt to have two copies of stuff actually I have local copies as well uh, which also uh, you know I had been meaning to do and after seeing uh, John uh, Hammond here he did a video on how to port all your files over which actually github does automatically for you basically you log in create an account on GitLab and anyway I'm, I'm getting off topic here but you can port all say anyway Go to gitlab.com forward slash metalx1000, search my repositories for CTF, capture the flag, or just go to metalx1000 forward slash uh, CTF. And I actually uh, am uploading the automated scripts. So all these, I haven't done this uh, JS safe one yet, but all these have scripts that you run and it grabs the flag for you. And then you can look through the script and see how I did it. But I'm gonna walk you through all those in these videos. So let's get started with the first one here, which is the letter one. Um, and you want to read uh, what they have here. Sometimes it seems a little stupid, but sometimes there's little clues in there on how to do stuff. Uh, but here it tells you the story of how you got this, this information. So you really went dumpster diving. Amazing. After many hours, success between what looks like a three-week-old casserole and a copy of the Relative Times magazine, you found this important-looking letter about the victim's PC. However, the conf, uh, uh, credentials aren't readable. Can you still obtain them? And, well, you can see I already put in the flag here. Uh, but you download the attachment, which is a zip file. And let's go ahead, and what I'm going to do is switch over to my shell here. I'm going to go into the uh, letter here. So if you look in here, uh, I've got some files here. And actually, if I run my script here, it's going to download the zip file, extract the PDF, run my code on it, and it gives you the flag. But let's look through how all this works. So... Again, you download the zip file and it unzips it, and you have a PDF file. So, do I have XPDF? I just reformatted my system. So, sudo apt install. I know there's probably better PDF viewers, but this is the one that I know by name. You know, you gotta type your password right to install stuff. So, anyway, I'm going to open this up in a PDF viewer. XPDF. There we go, you can see the names redacted. Uh, now, 
Some PDF viewers, if you highlight over that, you will see the password and there's nothing more you need to do, or the flag, whatever you want to call it. Um, but let's see if I now go into Vim, just an empty file here. Oops. I'm just curious as to if, like I said, you can see the text and the control C to copy that. Vim, nope, it's not copying anything. Anyway, like I said, some PDF viewers, you will see the password as soon as you do that. I wanna try that one more time. Highlight, is there a copy option? Nope. Anyway, the words are right there. Believe me or not. <laughs> uh, but what we're gonna use is PDF to text, which I use these PDF tools a lot of time to convert to to different types of HTML and other formats because lots of times you need to pull information out of PDFs uh, and it's easier if they aren't PDFs for doing that. Uh, so if I do this, I can then uh, pipe it to a file or if I just give it the dash, it will give it uh, the standard output and we'll get the text on the screen. And there is your uh, little flag. So let's have a look at letter SH. So uh, I start off by removing uh, the any PDFs uh, and then I'm going to download and output the file to letter.zip I'm going to unzip it and then I'm going to do just what I did I use PDF to text uh, on that PDF sent the standard out I pipe it into grep searching for CTF and then I use print oc3 for column 3 because if we exit out of here you can see that we've got column 1 column 2 and column three. So again, running that script automates everything for you and it gives you just the flag so you can cap copy this and paste it into the Google website and move on. <coughs> Excuse me. That's it for this video. I hope you found this interesting. Again, this one's super simple. Uh, I wish I had uh, another PDF viewer installed to show you that you could just highlight and see the password in some viewers. Uh, XPDF didn't seem to do that. Uh, so super simple. You didn't need to do anything, but if you want to be cool about it, you know, Use your, your tools, uh, PDF to text, and then just get the output and you see it right away. Again, if you need to go over that again, look at my shell script here. Very straightforward. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.